Hi, welcome back to the third video in my Alter Labs full network setup series. And in this third episode, we're going to be installing this, which is the Alter Labs eight port PoE switch, which features eight one gigabit ports, four of which are PoE plus. Now, as this video might be a bit short for installing a switch because it's so easy, what we'll do is get into the Alter Labs controller and also do a few changes and tweaks in there as well to make the video a bit more substantial. And then in the fourth episode, what we'll do is add on the AP6 Pro outdoor access point. And then in future videos, what we'll do is go in and set up the Alter Labs controller a bit more and also create such things as VLANs and probably also some firewall rules as well. So keep a lookout for those episodes coming up soon as well. So what we'll do first is just take a quick overview of the specs of this switch. And then what we'll do is hop into the controller and add the switch into there. So here we are with the Alter Labs S8 PoE, which is their eight port, one gigabit PoE switch. And this of course features eight one gigabit ports and the four ports at the left are also PoE plus ports. And at the right hand side, there's the usual reset button, which you have to hold in for at least 10 seconds to factory default the switch, as you do with most of the Alter Labs devices, in fact, probably all of them. Now, this is a compact switch, as you'll see. And at the back, we have the input, which is for powering the device. And it's a 54 volt input and it's rated at 1.3 amps. Now the power supply is supplied with this device and you can also mount this on a shelf using the rubber feet that are already attached to it or you can mount it for example in a cabinet on a shelf or you can actually wall mount it. Now there is a wall mount bracket with it. Um, I have done previous videos with the unboxing so I won't go into details about that but there is a bracket that's provided for it which clips on the back here. So that's basically the S8 PoE 8 port PoE plus network switch. So what we'll do is I'll get this connected to the other devices meaning the root 10 and also the Alter Labs Alta Control which is their on-premise network controller and which I've done videos on in this series in parts one and parts two. So this, as I said, is part three. And what we're doing is adding the switch. So what I'll do is link a RJ45 Ethernet cable via one of these ports, probably port eight, and then link that up to the Alter Labs route 10. And then we have seven ports to use for connecting to end devices. For example, my PC, also the access point when we get that set up in the next video. So here we are in the dashboard for the Alter controller and what I've done is connected the switch as I've just said and we're currently in the dashboard here in the Alter controller. So what we need to do to add the switch is click on network at the top here. You will now see that there's a new switch appearing in the network dashboard. As you'll see we're in the network tab and you'll see we've got a new switch alongside our Alter Labs Route 10 here. So with the new switch, what you need to do is click on Setup. And as you will see, the status has now changed to Connected. And in a moment, it should finish setting itself up. And as you can see, we've now got data flowing through the status. So that means that your switch has now been added in to your controller on your Alter Labs network. So what you can do is actually name the device. So for example, the S8 PoE, if you hover over the icon, it will give you the name of the device and you'll see we've got no name against it. So what we'll do is change this to S8 PoE and also for the router, we'll name this to root 10 and press enter. And as you'll see, we've now got our two devices named on the Alta Labs network. And that's how you allocate your switch into your Alter Labs network. So as you can see, we've got an update required for the S8 PoE. And at the moment we're on version 
one eye. So to update it, what we need to do is just click the arrow against the version number, as you'll see here, and then it will ask you update device. When do you want to update your device? Right now or tonight? So we'll do it right now. And as you can see, we've got a dial saying the update is 87, 97, 100% complete. So just be patient while the device updates itself. So once it has finished updating, you should see that the green circle here should disappear and the version number should just be shown without the circle. So just wait, this could take a few moments to finish. So although the device is showing a black icon, it means that the device is actually restarting itself and applying the update which we've just downloaded. So don't do anything, don't click the black up arrow as if there is an update it will change to red but as it's changed to black it means that it's just restarting and applying the update which we've just told it to download and as you can see it's now changed to 2.1 LO so we're now on the next version for the PoE switch which has just restarted itself please as I said be patient with these devices and the updates just wait, don't click on anything, just wait for them to restart and you should get data flowing in the status for both devices again. And as you can see, we've now got the data graph flowing, which means that both devices are back online and the network has been updated for these versions. So what we'll do while we're quickly in the actual control panel, we'll go into settings and into system and just see if we have a new version for alter control so we'll just check this by clicking the check button and as you can see we've now got a new alter control version i actually disabled the automatic device updates so as you can see this is grayed out however if you want to just do automatic updates yourself you would leave the slider and it's now saying there's an update to 1.0p so we'll just click update and then click yes to confirm and then we'll wait for the update to proceed and complete itself so as you can see it's taken us back to the login page so it's what it's doing is updated itself so we just wait about 10 minutes for it to update and connect back to the internet and then we should be able to log into the controller again so i'll end this video for now and in the next video what we'll do is get the access point set up and we'll also then go in and set VLANs, port tagging and so on in future videos. So continue watching this series, hope you're liking it. Thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.